I was quite amazed that it wasn't futuristic. I thought it was going to be quite spacey. It was just a normal house, but it was just high tech. It's not like out of this world. So you could think, this could actually happen in my house. I don't really know what I would think the house of the future would look like. I would just imagine it like spacey and metal and things like that. OK, what's odd about the door? It hasn't got a keyhole, it hasn't got a spine. It's like a and there's cameras door. up there. <laughs> cameras up here. That doesn't do anything, does it? No. Um, something must happen. Maybe you have to pull the handle and do something at the same time. Um, yeah. No, it clicks. Did it? No, it's just the pressure I'm putting on it. Um. Yeah, it clicked. It clicked. Oh, oh it's open. Oh. Oh. Hello, guys, Hi. and welcome to Orange at Home. This is where we research new and emerging technologies for the future homes. So we're going to show you around today, and if you've got any questions, we'd be happy to help you out. Where is it actually? The whole thing. This is just a portable computer. It's just the same almost as any other computer, but it's just set up so you can take it anywhere around the house. It's connected using this wireless connector here to a main computer in, the, in another room in this house. Fuad's explanation was really useful. Once you know how to use the tablets, you can control absolutely everything. We each had our own homepage, which was cool and we could do everything from choosing music or TV channels to running the bath, sitting in the conservatory. Everything in the house can be controlled from one place. You just choose the room you want to make something happen in, and it's there. You have to remember to keep the batteries charged up, but apart from that, the tablets can do anything that your own PC can do, but wire-free, plus a lot more. So you could even go into the garden and just chill out, lie on the lawn, and you could listen to your music from the tablet. Future Home used to be a farmhouse. Orange bought it so they had a real house where they could try out lots of new ideas involving wire-free communications. We all thought the house of the future would be really modern and futuristic, but most of the technology in the house could be put in any house that exists at the moment. One of the main things they're looking at is entertainment. The video recorder is amazing. Whatever you record is stored on the main computer so you can watch it anywhere in the house. But better than that, it remembers what you like watching. So if you like holiday programs, for instance, it'll record all of them without you needing to set the recorder. If I wanted to record everything for Freddie Prince Jr. on, how would I do this? If there's like a favourite actor or actress you have, you can ask the Tebow to record your favourite actor, whatever he's in. And you can do that for director, football, anything you like, really. I think the best bit is, if the phone rings or your mum calls you, you can start it recording, and then you can come back to the programme where you left it while it's still recording the rest of it, so you don't have to miss anything and you go to uh, pick programs to record just select that and um, you can search by title you can search any of the programs you want by title or using wish lists you can record by time or channel so there's even more things to choose from <laughs> One thing I also like is the tablet that you can use in here. You go to a family bathroom, um, you click on music server, and you choose which um, artist you want. And then you press play, and it should play it. I think it's good having music in the bathroom because you can listen to it while you're having a shower or in the bath or even on the toilet. You can only record with TiVo in the conservatory or the main bedroom at the moment, but you can watch the programmes back anywhere you like. 
and listen to music or download music videos, watch DVDs or play games. Because the computers in the house are all linked to the main computer, you can even play games between rooms. Being able to watch TV on the computer is great. It just gives you so many more options. You can switch between TV and the internet and the recorder just by pushing a button. The big screen in the main bedroom is awesome, like being in the cinema. If I had it, I don't think I'd ever get out of bed. You can imagine the whole family spending Saturday morning in front of it. You've got everything really. Your bed that moves and um, this huge screen, so you don't really need to spend a lot of money to go to the cinema. Yeah, quality entertainment at your own home. For me, I think everything to do with communications was really interesting. Nearly everything is wire-free, like the web tablets and even the mouse, keyboards, joysticks, everything. Using the internet was really impressive, getting pictures and especially video very fast. The games were fantastic. The speeds gave you lots more choice and everything happened as fast as you needed it to. You look, come in here, we're going to take a picture. Being able to send photographs from the computers to the picture frames Make on the sure wall was amazing. Smile. Smile. And there we all are. And then we're going to Image Sender. So is it just like sending emails or is it different? It's just like sending an email. And there we are. And if you can email a picture from the other side That's of the same. world and put it straight on a grand's wall, that would be so cool. Weather meeting is fantastic and it's something that really makes you think about how some of the things in the house might be developed in the future. Would you use this um, as opposed to email? Probably, yeah. Would you like this in your houses? Yeah, I think it'd be really useful. Kind of like text messaging, but it's more interactive. If you could call your doctor or the health helpline like this, Think of the time it would save everyone. All one. I burnt one calorie. There's other stuff in the house to do with health as well. Like in the fitness room, there are all these gadgets that take your pulse and blood pressure, height and weight and so on. In the future, you'll be able to send all your information online to a doctor, so you won't have to go to the local surgery. It would be great if you were ill, and for older people, if you could stay at home and not have to visit hospital. Well, you do the weights, <laughs> you do the weight. I probably won't be able to lift this one, you do realise, don't you? <laughs> I'm just weak, so you try it, you probably will. And you can also have a quick fitness check, and then get advice on your diet, and what sort of exercise you need online. Wildfire. Here I am. They have been trying voice control in the house too. Switch washing machine on. OK. Telling the washing machine to start up is a bit of a gimmick, I suppose. But for disabled people, it could be fantastic. Wildfire? Yes. Fill the bath. OK. It would mean they could control their environment without needing people to do everything for them all the time. They're trying out all the latest security equipment in the house. Ricky and I got in early so we could try it out. Oh look, Matthew and Sheila are at the door. If someone rings the doorbell, you can switch really easily to the security cameras on any of the screens. Then you can unlock the door using the tablet. Go to front door. And then unlock it with the padlock. Let's unlock it. They're letting them. There we go, and they're in. Hiya. I think being able to see who's at the door could be good. And looking at the baby's room, just being able to flick the CCTV camera would be really useful. I was worried about where the cameras might be. Watching the baby's okay, 
but I'm not sure I'd like it if my mum and dad could just switch to a camera in my bedroom. Fuwa told us that soon you'll be able to see the CCTV on your mobile phone. You can get an alert on your phone and then see what's actually happening. You could actually see it on the screen. So the security system would ring you if someone rings the doorbell and you'd be able to see who it is. You could even unlock the door using your phone or you could tell the police if there was someone actually trying to break in the house. I suppose security is something lots of people worry about, isn't it? They said this is happening in some schools already, but I'd hate it if my teacher could get to me away from school. But it would be good sometimes though, like if you'd miss a lesson or if you needed help with revision, something like that. If you're still having difficulties, remember that we wrote down in our strategy box all about... I wouldn't mind if I could ask the teacher something on the video conference. You know, if you needed a bit of help or you weren't sure about something. But if you could talk to the teacher online and you could download all your lessons and things, then there'd be no reason to go to school. You could work at home. Okay, can I just play this? No. no. All in all, there's 100 grams. So you have to say like, what percentage is chocolate, what percentage is caramel, what percentage is, is fruit nut. I'd never seen an interactive whiteboard. I know they have them in some schools, but having one in your bedroom is pretty good. You can use it for all kinds of games and things, and for watching videos, anything you can do on the rest of the computers, but much bigger. And after that, you do start machine. And it tells you whether you've failed or not. I have failed. I have failed. <laughs> Most of the screens in the house can be controlled just by touching them. But you can draw on this one as well, just by using your finger. It's the same as the others, but you're sort of in it. Now you press it, I'll do it for you. the dog is brilliant. He does tricks and you can take pictures with the camera. The controls are really easy and you can load in all sorts of things that he can do. When do I have to turn? Right, now. Now. My mum would like him because he wouldn't leave hair everywhere and sit on the beds. Oh, <laughs> class. Oh. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> the dog's another thing that you can see are useful in the future, like going into collapsed buildings after an earthquake, things like that. So it's not just a toy. I really like all the technology and the new things, but they're going to change the way we live, aren't they? If we all work at home and we don't need to go to school, who are we going to talk to? This is the bath and you can use these panels to um, put in the plug and here is quarter fill, half fill, like just fill. You can um, control it from your bed and while you're watching TV. You can also control if it's hot or cold with this doll here. After the bath water's been used, it'll go into a huge tank, which is called a grey water tank, and it will recycle um, the dirty water and put it in the toilet because you don't need clean water to flush your toilet. I like the idea of this tap because it's easy to turn on, hot or cold. And when you press the button, it either stops by itself or you can stop it manually. I think it's a good thing because it doesn't waste water and you don't use as much. And you use it over again. And out the window, on the roof of the conservatory, are solar panels, which makes extra energy for the house, for lights and all, all the electrical things. At the moment, the solar panels on the conservatory roof produce between a third and a half of the energy most houses use. In the future, alternative sources of energy will become cheaper and much more practical for everyone. And next to them is a system which uses the sun to warm water, which will go into the central heating. 
Even heating it a few degrees saves a lot of energy. Over in the shower, there's an extractor. Part of the water goes to the grey water tank and the heat goes on the landing to help heat your house. I like all the tiles and I like this shower curtain that they've got. I think it's really cool. And another thing I like in this bathroom is the toilet. Well, when you want to flush it, it all comes from the grey water tank because, because it's already dirty and you don't need to drink it or anything. You can either use it half or you can use it full, whichever one you need. My favourite room was definitely the master bedroom. I loved the big screen and being able to tilt the bed up and down. Having such a wide choice of different entertainment all around the house is great and I'm really looking forward to that. The problem would be having everyone in different rooms each watching different things so it might not be good for family life. The boys room was great. The sound system and the computers, I really like them. Great for playing games. The trouble is, I'd never want to come out. I like the girls' bedroom. The interactive whiteboard was so cool. And Ivo, the dog, he was great. And the kitchen. All the modern things. I wasn't surprised by anything, except perhaps the taps. But it was just about as I imagined it. There was no room that I liked best, really. But the conservatory's good. I was really impressed with all the communication things especially web conferencing. I can see that changing the way we do a lot of things, like going to the doctor, or if you wanted to ask a teacher something. What if your parents could use something like this for homeworking so they wouldn't have to go to the office? Do you think that's a good idea? It saves them going into work, so I don't see why not. They wouldn't have to drive, you know, an hour to commute into the middle of London. They could just stay at home, wake up 10 minutes before 9 o'clock, have a cup of coffee, brush the teeth and start working. The stuff in the fitness room was good as well. Online health checks could save everyone a lot of time and trouble. 15 calories for every year. There were lots of things that I think would make me lazy if I had them. But you can see in the future they could help a lot of people who can't manage by themselves. Like if you're ill or old. Like voice control. That could be really useful to people like that. Even Ivo could help because he can see for you. Other robots could do much more complicated things. I like the security as well. Things like the CCTV, especially if you could have a look when you're away from home using a mobile phone or something. That would make you feel a lot safer. And the bathroom was great. It was the main place where you could see what environmental things might change in the future, like reusing the bath water for flushing the toilet and all the other water saving things and I can see solar energy becoming much more important. To start with, I hated the idea of getting video messages from teachers, but then I thought it would be useful sometimes to be able to talk to a teacher about something you didn't understand. One of the problems in the future might be if you don't need to go to school because you can get a lesson online and more and more people can work from home, I think people might end up feeling isolated. When would you make friends with people? School's boring sometimes, but I'd miss seeing everyone every day. If I could take anything away, a tablet. They're really good. I'd have Ibo. I'd have the dog, definitely. Or the computer with the camera in, so you could email photos to the picture frames. I'd like to take the tablet away with me. It might make you lazy. But being able to control everything from something you can carry around with you is pretty cool.